Hey everybody, today's diecast review will be on a NASCAR Classics diecast, which was uh, released way back in December. Um, before I get into this one, I originally filmed it, however, this was before I, f I realized that YouTube ditched their video creator. So this is pretty much take two on this review, and this one is Jeff Gordon's 1997 Daytona 500 winner. Now, this would be the only the only finish, I want to say, that this uh, race version was ever made in. Uh, I know they had made the commemorative uh, die cast for this win. However, it was not race version. So Lionel uh, pretty much did a stellar job on this car. And, you know, for a Daytona 500 win... You know, the, for all of his three wins, this is definitely a must-have. If you don't already have the other two, definitely, definitely pick them up. Uh, right here, you got some stats of the race right there. Pause the video and go ahead and read them and whatnot. Anyways, let's get on with the car. Bada bing. Alrighty. So, paint scheme-wise, I'm not going to go over it. It's too iconic. I mean... If you call yourself a NASCAR fan and you don't know what the Rainbow Warrior scheme is, well, you're basically looking at it. So, let's go over the sponsors and everything. Main sponsor, DuPont, Chevy Bowtie. We got the 24 Monte Carlo nose right there. And, oh boy, the old contingency sponsors. Haha. <laughs> Let's go over them. Western Auto, Plastilite, Mac Tools, JE Pistons, Competition Caps, 76 Fuel, Goodyear. And right here on the contingency panel, got the old NASCAR Winston Cup logo, even though it's all blurred out for the most part. Why? Well, because Winston didn't want any part of this, and Lionel doesn't include the Winston logos on the older cars so yeah uh, Bush Beer Pole Award Gatorade Goodies Autometer uh, True Value Ray Bestis just name a few A Pillar uh, A Post I should say has Jeff Gordon's old signature right there the B Pillar has AC Delco Skittles Hendrick Motorsports the C Pillar has Slick 50 Oil and 1-800 Marrow 2. Down the driver's side of the car, got the iconic yellow 24. DuPont Automotive Finishes, Pepsi, Pedigree, Kellogg's, Frosted Mini Wheats, GMAC, Haas, and Quaker State. On the back bumper, Quaker State, DuPont Automotive Finishes, 24, NASCAR, and on the deck lid, DuPont Agricultural Products. And the DIN number is 1,227. Right side, pretty much the spinning image of the left. Now, for the race detail and whatnot, the front nose of the car is really dirty uh, for all the, all the dust and rubber buildup. Going along Daytona at high rate of speed picks up pretty fast, and um, for a Daytona race version like this, it's somewhat clean. But there's parts of the car like you saw on the other side, which is which is very very dirty indeed, and pretty much putting the emphasis of rubbing is racing. Going down the driver's side. Got some uh, rubber buildup right here along the wheel well of the left rear. Some rubber markings also along the uh, Quaker State logo. And it might even be some little uh, fuel residue uh, going down on the Quaker State logo. And then splashing out from the, um, from the rear corner panel right there. Bumper of the car. It's uh, you can, it's visible with the naked eye, but I don't know if the camera can pick it up. But there are um, there is rubber 
uh, all along the uh, the back of the car, especially on the uh, the deck lid too. And the color of this car is too bright for the camera to pick it up, but it's it. I mean, you can see it right here, especially like a little bit right there. But yeah. And then this side is pretty much where um, where this car got its um, infamous donut mark right there from Dale Earnhardt right before he flipped over going down the back straightaway. And, um, <clears throat> and you know, racing late for the lead at the Daytona 500, Dale Earnhardt and Jeff Gordon have never won it. So obviously Earnhardt's pushing hard for that win. You know, that 500 win pretty much eluded him for his entire career until the next season in which he pretty much had a stronghold on that lead and ultimately held off everyone for the win. But um, this donut mark, obviously, from Dale Earnhardt right before he flipped over. So that's, uh, that's a traditional um, marking for sure on his uh, race car. And got a little, um, got a little tape right here also on the passenger window to, um, to, I guess, uh, I don't know what it was the purpose of that. But underneath the hood though, uh, the engine detail. Underneath the hood, DuPont, Quaker State, and you got a little bit of, um, a mark in there from the engine block. And rubber buildup also along the sides. And right there's the engine. And the fuel cell. And the chassis. Alrighty, so definitely this is a must have in your collection for Jeff Gordon cars. Or if you just collect Daytona 500 cars in general. This one I would definitely get since it's a NASCAR Classics car. Uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this video. And make sure you subscribe for more videos like this one for the future. Thank you again.